Yeah, I'm Associate Professor Ben Wadham. I'm a sociologist in the College of Education, Psychology and Social Work. Uh, I look after high degree research and uh, my research is on uh, gender, men and violence and the military. I spent uh, five years in the Australian military. Um, the first couple of years were in an infantry battalion, uh, which is you know totally dominated by men. There's no women in an infantry battalion. There may be now, but back at, in those days there weren't. And uh, also working in the context of being uh, soldiers with a sort of a license, if you like, a sense of license to, you know, because we're protecting the nation. Uh, I got very interested in um, how groups of men work in certain ways to um, usually dominate and oppress others. I guess I'm a little bit different from other veterans in that uh, I seem to have a unique uh, uh, perspective on the military. Um, many veterans come out still very much uh, uh, devoted to the institution. Um, I saw violence, I saw men in groups behaving badly, I saw the way in which command failed to, to hold people to account for that sort of behaviour. Um, and it led me to a whole range of questions which only sociology could help me answer. So, like. Why is there a class system, officers and, and non-commissioned officers? How does that affect the way in which uh, culture operates in the military? Uh, what's the place of militaries uh, other than uh, simply to defend the nation? What's its place in global relations? You know, so uh, having the perspective that the, that the military is caught up in imperialism and nationalism and, and uh, other forms of globalisation. Uh, so having that sort of critical perspective uh, came from the sorts of things I saw and did in the military and I guess that's my um, uh, point of difference uh, as a researcher researching the military today. The Australian Defence Force has had uh, an extended history of misconduct you know, and it's not something that they talk about much uh, until at least 2011 when a particular scandal happened. Uh, a um, female cadet was uh, engaged in a kind of a consensual um, sexual experience with another male cadet and um, she was filmed by his mates you know without being without without knowing about it without her consent and that was distributed this sort of uh, this was a uh, something that had happened a hundred times in you know in the Australian military but it set up a, a massive scandal uh, which embroiled uh, civil society the government and the military in a process of really profound cultural change so on the uh, regulatory side, the governance side, the Australian Defence Force has been very serious about it. Um, they've uh, undergone many reviews, spent a lot of money, spent a lot of money on research, and engaged in a whole lot of structural and organisational change. But it still raises the question: uh, if all this governance change, does the culture change with it? And I think that uh, when you have an institution that's 87% uh, male, or traditionally 100% male, but now it's 87%. Uh, the minority is always going to experience some form of uh, marginalisation. I think most soldiers, most veterans end up falling back into work like they did in the military, sort of security work or, or that sort of thing. Um, I particularly wanted to get away from that background and do something new, so that was an extra challenge as well. Um, early on, employment always fell back into sort of security type opportunities, so I spent a lot of time trying to uh, forge different opportunities in uh, research and uh, policy work. Yeah, so right at the moment I'm, I've got two big research projects happening and one of them is on um, uh, using virtual reality in violence education prevention programs. So um, uh, male, male violence is an issue in our society, uh, usually around um, late night economy out there on say Hindley Street for example, uh, but also um, after parties and things like that and football clubs and sporting clubs. So uh, I'm, interested, I'm doing research to develop a violence prevention education program for young men aged between 14 and 24 um, and we're using virtual reality to um, create immersive environments, sort of replicating say um, a pub environment or something like that. Um, the other research, my main research I guess, is uh, on institutional abuse and organisational reform in the Australian Defence Force. Um, so recent uh, incidents or scandals in the Australian military uh, have highlighted that there's a, quite a strong uh, misogynist culture and also a culture of very poor reporting, um, recording and addressing uh, sexual assault and other forms of um, internal violence. So uh, I'm doing uh, the first national study into institutional abuse in the Australian Defence Force. That involves uh, interviews with survivors and also a lot of uh, policy and um, 
our carbon work.